What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and we're gonna be setting up and reviewing the Pimax 4K VR headset. This thing is pretty cool. For one, it is the least expensive VR headset for your PC and you still have that premium quality VR experience like the Oculus and the Vive have to offer. Now, right now, Vive is rated number one as the VR experience for your PC, but it's $800 and it's very demanding on your PC. I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side comparison showing you the minimum specs for your PC for the Vive, the Oculus, and the Pimax VR headsets. So as you can see on the upper left, the HTC Vive, the minimum specs is a GTX 1060. On the bottom is the Oculus Rift. The minimum specs is a GTX 970. And the upper right is the Pimax with the minimum specs for the GTX 960. So the Pimax VR headset is by far the best value. So here are the top five most popular VR headsets that give you great VR experience. On the upper left is the Samsung Gear VR headset, currently running at $80, but you need a $600 Samsung phone to use this device. On the upper right, we have the Oculus Rift, currently running at $500. On the bottom right, we have the HTC Vive, currently running at $800, but it does come with mo motion controls. On the bottom left, we have the Pimax, currently the best value VR headset, running at $375. And then in the middle, we have the PlayStation VR, running at $500 with the bundle package, which you need the camera and the motion controls to play most of the games. So let's go ahead and set it up and dive in and see how this really plays out. And it says right here, best VR product of CES Asia 2016. Well, let's go ahead and find out if it really is a great VR headset. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have inside. Of course, the headset. And we have, looks like a single cable that has a split end. And we got the HDMI, that's obviously for a video. And then we got the USB right here. Let's pull this out, the headset. It's actually pretty light, it's all plastic build. So it's fairly light. And let's go ahead and peel this off. And this is the symbol for Pi. And so I think it's the lowercase Greek letter. That's the symbol for Pi. And of course, you got the circle. Pi means circle, circumference, actually. Uh, it's 4K, which is a very good thing. Let's go ahead and look at this. Here's the instructions right here on the inside. Peel this off. And it says download Pi Play from www.pimaxvr.com and install. And then we have to connect the VR headset to the PC, which is step two. And step three is download uh, and play games. Okay, seems easy enough. And look at the size of those lenses. They're actually pretty big. So here's the specs of the Pi Max VR headset. It has a 110 degree field of view, dual gyroscope, and 53 millimeter optical lenses. It also supports 5.1 virtual surround sound. Oh, cool, and it's interchangeable. So if you don't like this pad, it looks like you get different pads. This is just Velcroed on. Uh, I like the ones with the uh, nose support. So yeah, you get those um, face pads on Amazon. Looks like some vents on the bottom. Probably um, eliminate some humidity in the headset if you're sweating. Here's the ear pads. They're pretty thick. A lot of cushion there. And here's the 3.5 cable. And that's R for the right ear. This belt goes off looks like. And this should slide on like that. This is pretty easy to set up, actually. This plugs into, looks like right here. Slide this in right here. This is growing 
pretty smoothly so far. So right here you have the LED indicator. It's green when it's booting up, blue when it's ready. Volume controls, power on and off. Hold it down for seven seconds to turn it on and off. You got vents all right here to eliminate some of the fog on the lenses. Uh, you have a sensor right in here. So it detects if you have the headset on and I'll turn on the display. See, my finger just touched the sensor almost and it actually turned on the headset automatically. And this cable should be clipped on right here so it doesn't get in your way. All right, so let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the VR headset to my PC. And I'm just gonna move this monitor around, just like that. Now I have a display cable currently connected to my monitor. I highly suggest doing that if you have a display port, connect your display cable to your monitor because you're gonna to need to free up your HDMI cable on your GTX 960 video card. Um, and then you wanna also connect your USB cable to the SS 3.0 USB port on your computer. So my display cable is connected to my monitor currently and I'm gonna plug in the Pimax VR headset right here in my only HDMI port. These are two DVI ports, I can't use those. To my blue USB port. Now I downloaded GeForce Experience, which is free if you have a GTX video card. And I ran the whole test and I ran all the updates. Now even though I ran this whole setup, it says um, my video card is not virtual reality ready. And it says uh, my i5 processor 4590 is good enough. I have eight gigs of RAM or higher. That is checked off, that's good. I have Windows 10, which is Windows 7 or higher is good. And my, uh, my driver is a GeForce 359 driver or later, which is also good. Um, the only thing that's not good is that it says G GeForce GTX 970 or higher to support VR. And I have the uh, 960. But don't worry, with Pimax you can enjoy VR. Now once you go to the Pimax website, I'll leave a link in the video description below where to go. You want to scroll down to the latest drivers. This says Pi Play Download right here. So right under that, you'll see the download link right here. And you click on this download link right there. And it'll say Mega. And then you can download through your browser. I believe the browser has a scan, so you don't have to worry about it. And it's uh, 489 megabytes. To extract the files and download the program PyPlay onto your PC, you must have a rare program. You can download free rare extract frog. That would work. All right, once you download that software right here, that's going to be your drivers. And you want to right click it and run as admin. Now right here it tells you your setup, please close 360 or your antivirus software. Now I had an issue where I couldn't um, actually enjoy the VR experience because the display wasn't turning on. So I'm gonna show you what to do next. You wanna disconnect your ethernet cable or disable your Wi-Fi connection to the internet. I'm gonna unplug my cable actually to the internet. Okay, so now next, you want to find your antivirus program, it's usually on the bottom right of your desktop, and you want to right click that, and for me, I go to my control center, and I want to disable for 10 minutes during the installation process. Then you can restart your computer and then plug in your ethernet cable or turn on your Wi-Fi settings. All right, then let's go ahead and try it again, run as admin and continue to yes. All right, so right here, you wanna download DirectX, Microsoft DirectX, hit next, next, gone, allow access, and allow. And press and hold that power button down for seven seconds, and it'll turn green and then turn blue. Now this is actually the Pimax software, but you can actually use Steam VR as well. This is the su support, if you're interested, support at PimaxVR.com. 
Uh, click on the gear on the upper right hand corner. I have mine set to English. I got it to boot automatically. Uh, I click on hide the taskbar. Uh, my download path is on my backup hard drive. I have my, um, my set my local VR player to my C drive. On the bottom right hand corner, click on the speaker and then click on playback devices. So right here on the Pimax VR headset, you want to right click that and set as default device. So as long as the headset is turned on, that would be the default device. Once you power off this headset right here, right there, then that will disappear and my default will jump to my Bose speaker. All right, next you want to go into Steam if you don't have Steam, download Steam, it's free, just Google it, it's all over the internet. And then once you um, Google Steam, this is Welcome to Steam, click on that, and then you can download, install Steam right here on the top corner. All right, so I already have it Steam installed. You wanna type in Steam VR in the search bar right there. And it's free, once you have Steam VR, you can um, click on install. All right, once you download Steam VR, then you want to click on this icon right here. It says VR. So you want to click on this icon right here. But make sure your Pimax VR headset is on before you jump onto Steam and click this VR button. Or else it's not going to work properly. All right, and then once you do that, you'll have this pop up right here and it'll say ready. All right, so then next you wanna do is click on store. And then after you click on store, you wanna to go to games and click on virtual reality. I didn't realize how many virtual reality games there are, but there's actually way more than I thought. Now the ones that work best for me is Gun, Gun Jack. It's a great VR game, it's a shooting game. Here's a really scary one, Dread Holes. Uh, Dead Secret runs really good. It's de basically a detective, slow paced detective game. Um, if you're into history, Apollo 11 is a really good VR game. It'll tell you everything that it supports. So it supports HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. Now the um, Pimax is the closest to I guess to the Oculus Rift. So if it says it supports Oculus Rift, it should support Pimax as well. And if it doesn't, and it doesn't um, work, and you have less than, I think, um, five minutes of uh, gameplay, Steam, via, Steam will actually refund you the money back to your account. Uh, right here, it says input, gamepad. Uh, make sure, if you don't have the motion controls, make sure it supports gamepad. All right, I should have turned on my controller before the game started. Let's see if it's going to work. The audio is amazing. I just have that light coming in right here. So I, I probably order a, another face cushion. So press right trigger. Sometimes I had to hold down A or the left click on the mouse. But it looks like it's working this time. So I aim with my head. I look left and right. All right, so let's go to stage one. And it looks really smooth. I just wish I had depth control. It looks 1080p. It works so much better. VR works amazing with the office chair. You just look left and right. If you're on a if you're on a regular chair, it's a pain in the ass. Hit hit uh, this button right here to reload. And this is shooting and reload. And this is uh, your missiles. Oh yeah, the office chair makes a huge difference. All right, so we're right now my son Devin is playing VR carts and this is found on Steam. But uh, looks like it's working pretty good. How's the frames per second? The same or better than the Samsung VR? Um, I'd say they're better actually. Yeah, it's smoother. Yeah. 
Is it really loud? Is the headset really loud? It's kind of loud, actually, right now. Oh. Am I yelling? Yeah, you are. Oh, sorry. Is it lower now? You're making it louder. Oh. Ah. The middle button is lower. All right. Thank you. Oh, no! So, for me, I think Pimax is a great VR headset for a computer that is not really capable of running HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. Now, if you have a computer like mine, I highly suggest getting the Pimax VR headset. I think you're really going to enjoy it. You don't have to dish out more money for your video card, for uh, upgrading your computer. You just jump right into the VR experience. So if you're interested in this VR headset, check out the link in the video description below. If you found this video helpful and informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this one, click on the subscribe button right here. And if you want to check out some of my other videos on my playlist, click on this link right here. And share this video to anyone that may be interested in the VR headset. Thanks guys for watching.